Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about listening skills. Listening is the ability to pay attention to and effectively interpret what other people are saying. It is not just hearing the words that are being said to you rather than give, comprehending the meaning and their context and trying to understand the underlying intentions and emotions. So, we can see that listening is an act that involves complex cognitive, affective and behavioral processes. Cognitive process is like understanding and interpreting the message. Affective process is like being motivated to pay attention. And the behavioral process is like providing a feedback either through verbal or nonverbal channel. Now, we are going to see that there is a basic communication profile, as we all know, that there are four language skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Uh, in order to learn these skills, uh, listening comes at first, and similar is the case uh, that we use this skill most of the time. But if we can see that the time we spend on teaching these skills, uh, we spend more time on teaching writing as comparative to listening. Now, we are going to see stages of listening process. There are six stages of listening process. The first one is hearing and receiving. At this stage, the listener receives the message and acknowledges it. Then comes the second stage, which is decoding the message. At this stage, listeners dissect the message and give meaning to the sounds according to his perceptions, beliefs and views. Then comes the third stage, which is comprehension. At this stage, what listeners do is that they understand the meaning of the message. The fourth stage is remembering. Even before acting out on the information, we need to process the information. It's like recalling and retaining the information into the memory. Then comes the fifth stage, which is evaluation. Once the message is being uh, stored in the memory, the listener is going to evaluate the message, which means he is going to assess and judge by applying critical thinking skills. The last stage is responding. At this stage, listener needs to respond. If you are in a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a communication like in a group talk or in a dialogue, you can respond in, through verbal channel. But if you are in a lecture theater hall where there are multiple people around you, then the immediate response can be given through uh, nodding your head or you can clap and you can maintain eye contact. There are few uh, misconceptions about listening. The first one is that people normally believe that listening and hearing are same things. But they are not. These are two different things because listening is an active process in which a listener is actively involved. He receives message, he understands it, he evaluates it and then responds. But on the other hand, hearing is just like receiving the information and not retaining it and not providing a feedback on it. Other than this, there is also one misconception that we believe that all good speakers are good listeners as well, which is not true because uh, we also know that in order to become a good speaker, you have to be a good listener. But it is not the case that all good speakers are good listeners. And there is another misconception that smarter and intelligent people are good listeners. Uh, there are some problems that can occur during the listening process. Uh, sometimes we are more concerned about what we are going to say rather than uh, paying attention to what is being said to us. Uh, and sometimes we are more uh, concerned about uh, the in part of information that is more related to us. So we skip the information that is not much relevant. And sometimes uh, we are attention deficient, which means we are not paying attention, we are preoccupied or our mind is diverted. So we are not listening uh, properly and not getting the message. Okay, now we will see that there are various listening types. The first one is informative listening. The goal of uh, this type of listening is to comprehend and retain the information. Then comes the second type, which is active listening, which is the most important type of listening because in this type of listening, listener is actively involved and it is also known as uh, critical listening uh, because a listener has to critically evaluate the message on multiple levels. Then comes the third type, which is content listening. In this type of listening, we try to understand and evaluate uh, the meaning of the message. 
then we have empathetic listening the goal of this type of listening is to understand the feelings and the views of the speaker then we have discriminative listening in which uh, the listener is more concerned about specific sound and nuances rather than paying attention to the meaning of the words and at the last we have appreciative listening in which listener seeks to appreciate the message which is more relevant and more concerned to his needs and wants okay there are six listening key skills that a listener needs to pay attention to the first thing is that uh, as a listener what you need to do is to pay attention to what is being said to you and you try to avoid judgments uh, and after this once you receive the message try to re reflect upon it try to understand the meaning and if there is some misconception and if there is some unclarity it is better to clarify it by asking questions once you have all the message received try to summarize it try to get the main idea and once the message is received try to share it further now we are going to see that there are various barriers to listening barriers are like hindrances that can affect the listening process the first one is environmental barrier uh, in this uh, kind of a barrier what we can say is that sometimes uh, technical faults can happen maybe the mic is not working properly maybe you are sitting far away from the stage or the people who are sitting around you they are talking so much or there are background noises so all these factors can affect the listening process apart from environmental barriers we have psychological barriers and it is at the end of the listener sometimes listener is feeling anxious or stressful or there is something that is going on in his mind so uh, they are not in the right state of mind and they do not pay attention to what is being said and there are physiological barriers that again comes at the end of a listener uh, maybe you are not physically feeling well there is headache uh, so you are not uh, in that physically capable to understand what is uh, uh, what the message is about apart from these we also have other barriers like selective listening negative attitude or poor motivation a selective listening is that in which uh, the listener is more concerned about uh, listening uh, the content that is more relevant to them and they are paying attention to only that information which is related to them then comes the negative attitude in which we are more concerned about hearing what is not being said and poor motivation is that a listener is not motivated enough to pay attention and in this in this barrier what happens that the message is being lost there are few steps that you can do uh, in order to avoid all these barriers the first one is try to uh, uh, control uh, if it is an environmental barrier you can uh, control it by reducing the background noises and if you are a listener what you can do uh, you can practice uh, to pay attention to uh, listen properly rather than concentrating on what you are going to say uh, you can ask questions if there is some unclarity or ambiguity other than this what else you can do is try to pay attention to what the speaker is saying uh, try to avoid selective listening try to avoid judgments and you need to be more focused in order to understand the message so in order to conclude uh, this topic i will give you some properties of a good listener the first thing the characteristic of a good listener is that they are always active they are actively participating in the process they pay attention and they are more focused and uh, they pay attention to what the speaker is saying and they are always keen to learn and other than this they always give you non-verbal cues like nodding their head keeping uh, eye contact uh, apart from this if they have any questions they save it till the end and they are more focused on speaker's message and they are always keen to learn